I don't know if I can say this online. <laughs> yeah, she's gunning it through the whole city, like. And she's like, I gotta go. <laughs> and he's just like, bang, like a western. And I would have been like, thank you, girl. <laughs> Welcome to the Spooky Nerd Club, everyone. I'm your host, Ray, and today I'm here with Janet, aka Kit Kat. And today we're going to be discussing a Jallo masterpiece from 1971 called The Strange Vice of Mrs. Ward. The film is directed by Sergio Martino. It's starring the beautiful Ewish Finnick. I think I said that right. Yeah. It's starring George, George Hilton. <laughs> And this name, it, it kind of threw me off when I first said it because I was like, this sounds really Latin, but it is Italian. It's Conchita Erodi. Okay. <laughs> that's that's uh, Carol's name in the film, which no is Julie's, Julie's best friend. The film is about an ambassador's wife who discovers that one of the men in her life, either her husband, an ex-lover, or her current lover, may be a vicious serial killer. I first watched this film maybe about... A month and a half ago, and ever since I watched it, I've probably seen it like five times. What should I say? Condolences or congratulations? I didn't know you watched it that fresh ago. Really? Yeah, it's very new oh, to wow. me. Oh, wow. I watched it a week ago. <laughs> I introduced this to you because you were bored one day, and I was just like, yo, jump on my Shutter account. Period. Put on a strange vice of Mrs. Ward. <laughs> and I just wanted to know, like, what did you think of the film? Honestly... I don't like old films at all. Like, you watch a lot of old films that are funny to me, and you're like, no, that was good. But like me, I'm like cracking up the whole time, right? Because I'm so <laughs> mature. <laughs> but this was so good. I was like, I was really into it. It was mm -hmm. drama. It was sexy. <laughs> it, was, mm -hmm. it, was, <laughs> it was different, right? It was. It was. So according to Bloody Disgusting, they said that this film is one of the top five Giallis. I'm not really sure what a Gialli and Giallo difference is since I'm new to watching all of these type of films. They both kind of feel the same to me. I don't know, whatever. Bloody Disgusting said that the film is innovative, exciting, unsettling, and Sergio Martino is a genius. I think this might be your first Sergio Martino film. Correct. Right? No. Hey, what's the matter? First, you've got to take your clothes off. Whatever you say. I got a lot more <laughs> I want to show you <laughs> from him because he does a lot of erotic, like, Jalo style type films, which are, I feel like, will be right up your alley. Boobies! <laughs> <laughs> I also thought this was funny because on the DVD version that I have, from a quote from DVD Talk, it says that this is a must own for Jalo fans, which I'm a Jalo fan. So boom, check. Boom. It says it's a fantastic blend of Hitchcockian suspense and exploitative. <laughs> There's a point in the film where I think we might see George's balls at least. No, because I was like this the whole time. Like we're seeing all these titties. I want to see something. I was well, waiting. Well, remember the scene when they were they were on the couch making love and. And which was laying on top of him and you see kind of somewhere in the crack but you see a sack just roll out i'm gonna have to <laughs> again because i want to see something do. <laughs> <laughs> do okay pause do you watch euphoria have you watched euphoria i think we talked about this before through text oh, you were like uncomfortable because of like the teenage stuff yeah yeah i don't really get into the whole teenage sex shit. But I love watching people cut people open and eating their shit. Exactly. <laughs> like, you make no sense. I'm, I'm all about that. <laughs> uh, George gives me Nate vibes in Euphoria. Like, so cocky. Well, George is the dude that she, like, fell in love with over her husband. Hell yeah. Absolutely. She was like, I don't. I'm going through a hard time, but come f me. <laughs> yeah. George, I beg you not to complicate my life. I'm not really the girl you knew today. What you really are doesn't matter to me. It's what I can see and feel that counts. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> he it's was kidding. like, I'm going to carve a G in this apple. 
So when you bite into it, you can think of me. He literally reminds me of Nate from Euphoria. Got you. I haven't seen that show, so I don't even know who you're talking about. Look him up. Send me a clip. Okay, here. I really f***ing hate you. I know. You're abusive. Psychopathic. Most of the time, I really hate the way you make me feel. I know. Hey, yo, what up, B? Yo, yo, how about you coming right on this? Nate, oh, bro. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to know, did you feel any connection with Julie Board and why? Absolutely, because she's f***ing gorgeous. Mm, Julie was pretty <laughs> bad. Well, no, I, I I can relate to her character. Let's 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 do that, okay? Okay. Because she's married. She has this like simp husband, right? Mm -hmm. And then she got this guy on the side that she's like, oh, I like <laughs> need you, but I want to f you. <laughs> but I can't. But I, but I can't. But I can't. <laughs> I love her though. I, you know, but like, yeah. And then she faked her death. <laughs> and got rid of both of these guys. <laughs> Whoa, spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fine. I mean, this, the film came out in what, 1970, what was it? 1971. So yeah, you're not spoiling but wait, anything. But wait, but wait, listen, hear me out, right? She's this beautiful dame. Mm -hmm. And then she has her like perfect man, husband who like washes her car. He does all know, the bills. He takes care of But then she got Georgie Porgy. George was going for it. To get an orgy with her. <laughs> they they played the, a really slick cat and mouse game. I, I loved their um like fling. I don't know. Like it was like hell yeah. Like I don't right. know. Like I <laughs> I love George, it. <laughs> you know what I thought was crazy was like the first dinner that they had with Carol and, and um Julie that And she's like, I gotta go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's like, sorry, I got a phone call. Whatever Carol's having suits me. Then we'll have three of Carol's usual. Fräulein Brandt, you're wanted on the telephone. Be right back. Looks like you did too. Does that mean you're planning to eat me up, Julie? No. I ate you up already. Excuse me, people. I have to go. But Carol, I'll call you later. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> she I just been ordered like, food. Thank you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> she set her up. She set her up Man. for real. <laughs> Julie was like, what? I would have been like... <laughs> Julie set her up. Nice. Oh, did you peep the outfit that George had on though during that dinner? He had the little tassels on his sleeves. Oh, you see, he's so spicy. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And then, and then he took her on that crazy <laughs> motorcycle ride with no yeah, helmets he on, and he, he was just gunning it through the whole city. Like, <laughs> it's like I told you, I was dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> no helmet. No helmet. He was cutting cars off with her in the back. Zooming and booming. <laughs> but anyway, so like what moments pretty much resonated with you the most in the film? Oh my god. The um kitchen scene where she like died in the like gas. Mm -hmm. It reminded me of Norman Bates, which is like my favorite. Like the I TV love show? that. Yes. I love that show. I I cried mm -hmm. on that show, but I loved that part. Like she had us stumped. I was like, she really Died? Are you kidding me? Not like that. <laughs> right. And like, why she had to go out like that? I got to say one thing, though. What resonated with me was when Julie had the dream of John breaking the glass <laughs> and the glass just shatters all over her and then they end up making love. I was like, I'm glad I'm not the only one to have dreams like this. <laughs> <laughs> You're toxic. <laughs> John was completely like what the hell? my dream spirit animal. But like even in the car, like the, the the last bit of the movie when then like the guy was in the car mm -hmm. and you're like, ew, f you and f <laughs> you. And then Julie was on the side of the road. I was like, yeah, no. I was like, yeah. yes, yes, <laughs> Julie's <too>. alive. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> because they were just in the car laughing. I was like, they got a little something for each other. Because they were like laughing like, ha, 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 ha. Like hysterically <laughs> in the <laughs> car. <laughs>
<laughs> that was so good. I love that movie. And I'm not like into like old school like horror or scary yeah. movies at all, but that was so like entertaining. That's Edwidge for Nick. So she has a lot of films that are really cool like that, especially Sergio Martino. He got some cool films like that. That's the thing about like the Jallo films. They're not so much on the horror aspect of things. It's kind of like real life situations and like just more relatable horror, I would say, than like just yeah. a killer like Michael Myers or something. I think there's a huge um, like another world that I'm not introduced to when it comes to horror because I'm so used to like Michael Myers, Jason, all uh, exactly. Raw. And then I you see this this is also considered horror. But it's like super entertaining and like very well put together, you know? Once I took a deep dive into the Italian horror genre, <laughs> and then I was like, <laughs> I started getting into all of these films like this. And now I'm like, I own like 50 of them and I'm just a huge fan of it now. It's like a whole new world. It is. And I think that's what's exciting for me. It's like a whole new world of horror that I never really explored. Me too, because... I'm used to getting like really scared of like watching movies and stuff, which I do like. I like being scared, but this wasn't scary, but it was like it yeah. did what it needed to do, you know? Yeah. Like it was so I get good. you. I mm -hmm. feel you. I was on the same time. Would you recommend this film to any of your friends or anybody? 1000%. <laughs> Hell yeah. I love that movie. Like, when it was 2020, when we were in the pandemic, we watched a lot of stuff on Facebook that was like older stuff. But like, to me, it's like comical. Like it didn't like scare me. Of Not course. that this movie scared me, but like it, it made you like root on for her and like be like, no, like, you know, like Good you were like, yes. So I love stuff like that. It's, right. it's uh, you know, this is 2024. I'm going to get into all these stuff. I have your shutter. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> you got my shutter account now. So now you can watch all of these weird films that I be into. Mm -hmm. That's why I was like, when you said, I was like, just go on shutter and watch that. Because <laughs> I told you opera at first. And I was like, no, before you get into opera, I was like, just and I'm watch like, this one first. I'm like, are you sure I'm feeling this one? You're like, no, get out. <laughs> yeah. Just because I feel like you got to like kind of take baby steps into all of it. So why not watch like the really good like masterpieces before you go into like the deep dive ones? Not saying opera is not a masterpiece, but I just think this one's better overall. And I loved it. I loved it. I would like to take a second and like pray for Mike right now. Pray Mike, for Mike. We wish you were here at this moment. We are yes. praying for your computer to work. Mm. I think it's a little bit um, off the chain at the moment, but we're going to pray, you know, something supernatural is going to happen for this computer and you're going to be with us within the next two weeks. And if not, you're going to be in Nelly's computer and you're going to do the damn thing. <laughs> amen, amen. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> we got to get Love Mike you, back on here. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get him back on. Mike's having some technical difficulties with his computer, so he'll be back soon. Janet and I both recommend watching The Strange Vice of Mrs. Ward. Check it out if you haven't seen it. It's a great film. I got my copy from Severn Films. You can also watch it on Shudder. Thank you all for tuning in and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.